Holy mother. It's the 9800 GX2. This is the BFG model. It's sick and disturbing. This thing is faster than just about any two card solution on the planet. It's got two GPUs and one nice large uh, 11 inch long casing. Now, let me tell you what's nice about the BFG model. I've talked about a lot of these already. Uh, the BFG model comes with several very cool adapters. One is the uh, six pin to eight pin PCI Express uh, power adapter. That is really handy for some of you guys who don't have an eight pin PCI Express uh, adapt or, or plug ready on your power supply. Also, this one comes with HDMI. That is right, HDMI cable right there in the box. So that's a nice bonus. I wanted to start off with that because that's really what separates this one from the other ones, the speed. Uh, between this one and the other ones is about the same. These guys do offer some very good warranties. Uh, you might want to check their website for that, but they do have a better warranty than a lot of the other companies too. So that's a bonus. Now let's talk about the specs of the card. What do you say? You don't say nothing. All right. Now this card, it's got a 600 megahertz core clock and that's on each one of the GPUs there. It's basically like uh, two 8800 GPUs put together on, on one massive, awesome card. Now there's a, um, there's a patent out for this, uh, or there a patent pending for this cooling device. I keep looking at it. It's amazing. Patent pending cooling device. It's like covers the entire card. Most times you see like the, the, the green on the backside, but this one, it's like a giant radiator. It's like an air conditioner. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, also, like I said, 600 megahertz core clock. Each, uh, each one of the processors has its own 256 bit memory interface. Each one has 512 megabytes of RAM, making uh, a gig of uh, GDDR3 in total. The memory runs at 2000 megahertz, and the uh, shader clock is at 1500 megahertz. This thing produces about 128 gigabytes per second. Goodness gracious. I'm not allowed to curse. <clears throat> All right, let's talk about benchmarks. Now, how fast is it? Let's, uh, let's go straight into Half-Life 2. I tried this out in uh, Windows XP because you know, Windows XP is the fastest. I'm going to put this card up against the uh, Radeon 3870X2. That's a, a dual GPU card. It's actually actually bigger than this. Yeah, it's a little bigger than this. I, I measure mine's like 13 inches of pain. All right. Now, those two cards, head to head. 1920 by 1200, Half-Life 2, Episode 2. All the filters turned up until the computer is ready to scream. Uh, now, the 3870X2 was at 208 frames a second. This GPU in my hand, the 9800GX2, is at 227 frames per second. So about 19 frames per second faster right there in Unreal Tournament, I mean in uh, Half-Life 2. Now what's what's interesting about that is the uh, the AMD ATI GPUs are usually better in Half-Life 2. The Source Engine, I'm not sure why, but that's usually the one game that the ATI cards beat the NVIDIA cards. Well, not anymore. This guy's the king in that now. All right, Unreal Tournament 3, 1920 by 1200. 3870X2 is at 97 frames per second. And the uh, 9800GX2, this card is at 130 frames per second. Screaming. All right, now let's go back over to Vista and let's talk about Crisis. Now, with Crisis, 3870X2, 1920 by 1200, all the settings to medium. Now, in uh, Crisis, 3070X2, 44 frames a second. The 9800GX2 is at 46 frames per second. So uh, that's, that's a closer race, but uh, I will say this, I don't, I don't think the drivers are quite as mature uh, as, they, as they should be at this point, but you know what, I'm not sure what time you're gonna be watching this video, but check their website. As the drivers get newer, I expect this card to get faster and faster, so that is a bonus. I don't think we've seen the full potential of the drivers yet, like I said at the time I'm making the video, but check their website. There might be some new drivers on there. You might get some more speed, maybe a lot more speed. And uh, when the SLI drivers are ready, I'm not allowed to even say that. I'm not even going to go into it. But yeah, if you were to put two of these in the system, I think the whole entire neighborhood would explode. All right, do know that this thing does use quite a bit of power, 580 watts of power right there. You need a, uh, a six pin PCI Express connector and an eight. And remember, it does include the uh, six to eight pin PCI Express connector for that second one there. So that's a really nice thing. That's something that the uh, BFG includes. Uh, and I haven't seen it with too many of the other brands. Most of them just include the card and some adapters. In the front, we have uh, dual link DVI. We have two DVI ports right there and an HDMI that's capable of uh, producing 1080p. That's awesome. Right on board, 1080. 1080p uh, output through uh, the HDMI there. And now with these, we can uh, reach our maximum resolution of 2560 by 1600. And uh, let's just take another look at that cooling unit because it's gonna look nice in your system. Oh, it's upside down. 
and then we'll flip it around. I'm gonna give you guys a, a little uh, visual tour there. Now the SLI connector, that. Not edge, well, I just snapped off the little plug. That's cool, they keep a little um, plastic plug on top of it to keep it concealed. I guess so dust doesn't, well, you know, dust is gonna get in there if it's a fan. Dust always finds its way in there. That's just the, that's just the laws of gaming. You gotta fight dust. And then we go online and fight terror and Nazis and all kinds of other things. We just like to fight. That's what we do. And there's no better way to fight than the 9800GX2 from BFG. If you guys have questions, click Q&A at the top of the page. See you next time. For more information on the BFG GeForce 9800GX2, go to CompUSA and type B52-9800 into the search box. Or you can call us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. 1-800-COMP-USA.